This uh, is an interesting day. I've been involved in the uh, NBC MAS since 2006. And so I've watched a lot of these days now. And, um, you know, this program is all about the nexus of our oceans and shores, science, culture, people, policy, governance, economics, communications and art. And more, probably, that I left out. But today we saw talks that ranged across all of those aspects and um, it was just fascinating and enjoyable. So congratulations to you all. I just thought it was great. So speaking from 16 years of these, um, except for the lack of an in-person audience, um, today easily stood with every other year, if not exceeded uh, that. And I just want to congratulate you on your resilience and your creativity in this really challenging year. So just well done from us. Um, I don't want to hold us back from the uh, fermented beverages, but <laughs> I, I do have to build on a, a few of the statements that Samantha just made. And, um, you know, with Mark and me and Risa and Samantha, I, I just have to say that without Samantha and Risa, I suspect this year might not have happened. I mean, you, you um, really don't know um, what happened especially if you think back to spring of 20. Um, the admissions process was underway and COVID suddenly hit, right? You had applied. We had the admissions um, meetings and were choosing you people to come and join us. And suddenly the university shuts down and says, everything's gonna be remote. Well, we have a summer class and so they said, that's gonna be remote. And remember that poll? <laughs> the answers came back from you that if we offered a remote summer class, you weren't coming. <laughs> a few of you said you would, you know, you, st you wanted to come anyway, but there was no way the program could run with a couple of you. So, um, as Samantha just alluded to, all the balls are in the air, what are we gonna do? And um, to make you come. We wanted you to be here, but we also wanted you to have a program that you can enjoy. So in the end, after all of those alternative scenarios, we've got summer at the end. And that's coming up. You know, normally you would see, I, when I talk to students from the past, the summer course is the jewel of your year. I mean, you've done this amazing work for the capstone, but you'll look back and you'll often think of the summer as just this incredible 10 week experience and you still have that to look forward to. So it's coming. Um, but to say summer at the end is easy, to do it is another thing. <laughs> um, so the challenges of that um, out of the way, Risa and Samantha then had to come up with the rest of the year, right? So now think about the summer last year and the remote um, introductions, the ways that you were able to get together on Zoom and how they facilitated that, brought in this great group of people and you started to get to know each other and then you arrived and the university was saying, everything's got to be remote. Still, nearly all your classes were remote, but you had forum, you had Samantha's law and policy class. Well, they didn't happen out of thin air to be in person. So there was an incredible effort to make that happen. And they did it, Samantha and Risa. So it was just incredible. And to, for me and Mark to sort of watch, we were consulting with them, we were talking with them, but they were the ones who were implementing this and doing all the incredible hard work to make it happen. So um, Risa, I'll just have to say, was so amazing in how she explores um, the rules and boundaries of this arcane <laughs> university with its Byzantine bureaucracy. It's only 50 years old, but it has built this system that becomes ever more complex. So Risa has this ability to get in there, 
after someone says no is to keep looking until she can find someone who can say yes. <laughs> she keeps you, all of us, up to date with you know, those regular calendar updates so you know exactly what's going on the schedule. That is so essential and um, distills all of the complexities is, of this place down to what you really need to know. So, Risa, fantastic job. And it's not just your program, it's the climate change program as well that she deals with. So, well done this year. <laughs> so, Mark was co-chair with me this year. Hi seen Mark over the years and uh, I was really um, happy to work with Mark this year and to get to know him. Um, he brings such an interesting different set of knowledge to a bunch of biologists and scientists sitting here um, and this is really valuable because of the way he thinks it's, it's different. He comes up with new ideas and new takes on things that are just so valuable. Um, you just have to ask him about power banks for laptops. I just, this is a coming thing. It's going to be a big deal in the summer. And I could not believe what Mark was able to bring to the table about that topic. And you're going to be thrilled with what he did on the background there. Basically, he served on your committees. Many of you know him well. And all I can say is he gives economics a good name. You know, so thank you, Mark. Finally, we have Samantha, our committed and fearless leader. Now, Samantha's been here for coming up on five years now, um, and she has really transformed this program in that time. She doesn't let anything just slide until the next time, as you know, right? It's building, always changing, always trying to find something to make it better. Uh, with COVID, this, she took the lemons of that and really tried to make it lemonade. Let's, how can we make this a more positive experience for you? I just can't think of a better person for, for, to have led us in this really unique and strange year. So thank you, Samantha. Yes. Samantha alluded to the summer at the end and what I can say from watching this program for coming up for you now um, is how she's taken that and torn it down, culled out the parts that were so-so and not really effective, um, brought in new experiences that we'll be having, uh, enhanced the diversity of people and experiences that they bring to this course in the summer. It's going to be really different and I have no doubt it will be better. Uh, this is a course I've always wanted to take and I'm sad that I've never been able to do it, to take the 10 weeks and join you to do it. Um, but I'm glad I'll be with, there for part of it with you. So uh, this has been an extraordinary year. I, I surely it will stand in your memories um, for the rest of your lives. And I hope that many of the positive memories of this year will be this capstone project, the courses you took, and this summer that's coming up for you all. So congratulations to all of you. <laughs>